Hey, what's going on everyone? Got a 2004 Chevy Tahoe back in the garage and I'm uh, going to do a quick video on how to replace the front and rear shocks on it. So let's get started. So I'm going to start out with the front ones first. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my jack and I'm going to go directly underneath the control arm here. And then behind that wheel, go ahead and locate your uh, frame rail up there and go ahead and stick a jack stand under there. Just like that, but we'll still keep the jack underneath the control arm. Next, you can grab a 7 8 and we'll go ahead and take these plastic caps off the uh, lug nuts along with the lug nuts and remove the wheel. Once you get your wheel off, we'll go ahead and uh, take off the top nut on the shock. And you'll want to grab a 15 millimeter ratcheting wrench, usually works the best. Stick that on there. And this is most likely going to turn, so you want to grab a pair of vice grips and then uh, stick it on top of this nut or on top of the shaft here. And then you can loosen it. And then go ahead and remove your vice grips. Should be able to spin this off by hand and then go ahead and remove your washer and bushing there and then the bottom that's going to be a 21 millimeter along with the bolt which is going to be a 21 millimeter so I'm going to put an open end wrench on this end and then I'll use my impact and socket to take the nut off And then go ahead and remove your shock, pull out on the bottom, and then you should just be able to drop it. There's the old shock. As you can see, this one was leaking. That's why we're replacing it. All right, so here's our new shock. Just went with the Monroe Reflex. And uh, there's the part number, which I'll put a link in the description of the shocks I'm using today. And then, uh, you want to grab your washer and then this uh, bushing out of the hardware they give you. Go ahead and stick your washer on there. And then there's two different sides. There's a larger one and then a smaller ring. The smaller ring is, is going to go down towards the uh, washer. So let's go ahead and stick this on. Then go ahead and take a shock. Heat it in from the top. And then get your uh, bolt for your bottom there. Go ahead and stick that through, and then uh, stick your nut on, but we'll still leave this loose until we get the top in. So since these shocks do not come collapsed and zip-tied, uh, we're going to have to manually compress it down. And uh, once we do that, we're going to quickly insert it up into that hole there uh, before it fully extends. So go ahead and do that. And this might take quite a bit of force to do this. So like I said, just try and collapse it as much as you can all the way down. And then stick it up in that hole there. Just like that. And then go ahead and grab the rest of your hardware. Again, uh, the bigger side is going to go down. Grab your washer and then your new uh, 15 millimeter nut that they give you. Screw that on. And then go ahead and tighten this. And uh, this is supposed to be torqued at 15 foot-pounds, uh, but it's kind of hard to get a torque wrench up in here. So I'm just going to do it hand tight. And 
And then probably about to right there, you can see um, it's starting to squish this uh, bushing a little bit. So that should be about good. And then this bottom one, I'll go ahead and get a hand tight and then I'll use a torque wrench on it. And then the torque for it is gonna be 59 foot pounds. Next, you can go ahead and stick your wheel and tire back on. And then you want to torque your lug nuts to 140 foot pounds. Okay, and the other side is going to be exactly the same thing. So we'll go ahead and move on to the rear shocks. So the rear ones seem to be a little bit easier. Uh, looks like we shouldn't need to use the jack or uh, remove the tire or anything. Should be able to just crawl underneath here and uh, get these ones off. So first thing I'm going to do is take the bottom uh, bolt nut off. And those are going to be both uh, 21 millimeters. And then the top one, you're going to have to grab like a six inch extension with your 21 millimeter socket. And uh, you're going to have to feed that up through here to get onto this bolt. And then grab your 21 millimeter here. And go ahead and loosen this one. Then you go ahead and remove your shock. And then grab your new shock and just kind of set it down in the bottom hole there. But I'm going to put the top one in first. So I can go ahead and stick that up in there. And then uh, stick your bolt through. your nut and then on the bottom bolt here since these shocks came uh, strapped and collapsed already I'm gonna go ahead and slide this strap over and then I'll have my bolt ready and I'll shove in this hole once it gets aligned correctly Yeah, just kind of slide or you can cut the strap off. And then you got to be fast. Just like that. Grab your nut. And then I'm going to tighten these by hand. And uh, the top and lower... Uh, bolt torque is going to be 70 foot-pounds.
All right, so I just finished up that other side in the rear, and uh, that's going to do it for the video. Again, this was a 2004 Chevy Tahoe. I went ahead and replaced front and rear shocks. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Um, doing a few other things to this Tahoe. So once I get those videos uploaded, you can check them out. And uh, until next time, thanks.